So I really wish I were in the tropics right now, but the closest thing that I can get to that is eating West Indian food. So today I'm checking out Ali's West Indian Roti Shop where you can get some amazing food for really good prices. So doubles are like $2.75. You can get a nice hefty roti meal for between eight and 13 bucks. So let's get to eating. Ali's Roti was one of the first places to introduce doubles to the Toronto food scene in 1976 and honestly thank goodness for that. So of course I had to get doubles here. Doubles are traditional Trinidadian street food so what that consists of are two pieces of fried dough or some people call it bara. There's some curry chana in there and if you want to add some extra flavor you can toss on some tamarind sauce or some pepper sauce. I had some of the pepper sauce. My mouth is low key still burning but I'll manage. We're in their kitchen right now, and this is where they make all of their rotis from scratch. So this place originally opened up 42 years ago, and there's a reason why they're still around, and it's because they do not mess around when it comes to their roti. First of all, they're massive. When it was served to me, I thought it was a pillow, but it turns out that was the meal I was supposed to eat. Today, we got two different types. The first one is the dal puri, so that's stuffed. So they serve that with some curry chicken, some potato curry, they wrap that up and serve it to you. That uh, roti wrap itself is one and a half pounds of food. If you think that's a lot of food, then the next meal that we had was even more. So that was their paratha and they served it with three different curries. So you got some chana, you got some goat, some pumpkin. They also had some dal on the side. And that was a grand total of two pounds of food. I definitely gained weight looking at it even before I ate it, but that's okay. For dessert, you definitely have to try their ice cream. So it's not flavors like strawberry or vanilla. They're tropical flavors, similar to what we'd get back home. So that includes handmade coconut ice cream, mango ice cream, and soursop ice cream. Now, uh, I gave you the whole rundown of this place. That's enough talking for me. Time to get back to eating.